Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be working on File Explorer. And in this one you're given an array of file objects and you want to build a component that displays them in a tree format. There are two types of objects, files and directories. Files are leaf nodes and directories contain other objects. Other files are directories. So I guess directories have this children guy here and files don't. And yeah, so names and uniques, names and IDs are unique. Directory, yeah, so they can be expanded and collapsed. Directories before files, you can style whatever. Directories can be empty, files are not expandable. Focus of this exercise, functionality. Okay, so we're not gonna focus on styling. So yeah, essentially, if it has children, it's a directory. If not, it's a file. Example, okay, so this readme is a file, documents, directory. Let's take a look. Okay, so I guess this corresponds to this. So documents is a directory and it has two files. So if we click, two files. And then downloads is a directory and it has two. So this is a file and this is a directory and this has two files, so. Okay, and then the topmost level also has this file. Okay, so essentially building a recursive component. Um, I'm gonna have to think about like, how do we actually structure this guy? Hmm. So, we can map through these guys, but how do we make sure, like, when we map through them, like, how do we show some stuff? So I guess what we could do is we can map through our array. And first of all, we can take our elements and split them up into, like, files and directories. Um, or, yeah, probably be easiest. And then if it's a directory, it's going to be recursive. So... What we can do is we can have this like looping logic. So we have this file explorer <laughs> that's gonna take an array, this data. And then if it's a file, we can just print it right away. And if it's a directory, we can make like a directory component. And then we're gonna map through all the files in that directory, I think. Actually, no, no, we're not. We're not gonna map through all the files in the directory. We're gonna make a directory component and then we're gonna show the name of the directory component like this. We'll have a state open and unopen. And then if it's open, we will recursively call the file explorer with the file. So essentially in here, if it's a file we print, if it's a directory, we'll have a directory component. And then that directory will go back into here because each directory has an array of children that we can just go back and print in file explorer. This is kind of rare to have like a recursive React component, but I mean, it's just like a recursive function if you think about it. So that's going to be kind of the logic there. So let's just print stuff and then we can worry about styling and whatever. So the first thing you can do is just get rid of all this, get rid of all this. So what we want to do is we want to, first of all, like sort our data. And then we want to split it up into files and folders. So we can go sorted data. Is we'll make a copy of the data, call sort, and a custom sort function. And we want to sort by name, so we can do just like yesterday, locale compare, b. I, this is not b, we have to use the name, right? Because we're sorting by name, so a.name, locale compare, b.name. Okay, so this is going to give us our sort data. Now we want to split this into two parts, so we can go directories, equals. Um, sorted data filter element and we want to basically how do we check if it's a directory so this children will be in it so we can say children and technically you probably want to use object has own but this is fine we're not gonna have like a children uh, thing on the prototype or anything I don't think we'll see anyway <laughs> and then files will be the opposite so if children, if it doesn't have children, then uh, yeah, you can do a bunch of other stuff. You could do like L children, check if it's undefined, things like that. Um, but so just be a not here. Okay. Uh, oops. Okay. So now that we have the files and directories, well, I guess what's the next thing we got to do? So next thing we got to do is we got to map the directories and the files. The directories come first. So we can do that here. So we can say like directories map. Um, so we're gonna take a directory. Yeah, directory. 
And then what do we want to turn? So we want to make a directory component, which we'll make right after this. Key can be the ID or the name or whatever. It's all unique. Um, and then we want to pass down the actual directory. So directory will be the directory dot, or actually this will just be the directory. Yeah. And that's it. We'll worry about the tabbing and all that stuff later. So this is essentially we'll have this. Um, now we want to map the files. So same thing, probably just copy files. So if it's a file, we can just display a div. So key, file ID, um, yeah, class name we don't need or whatever, don't worry about it. Um, and then we'll just have a div and the div can just have the file name I think we want to display. Close div. So file, we're done. If it's a directory, we'll make a directory. Eh, some issue here. Okay, file ID, file name. Could not find it. Probably missing something really dumb. Comma expected. Let's get rid of this. Oh, right. This is this should not be self-closing div. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So I think that's actually it. Now let's build the directory. So we don't need to export it. We can just build it down here. And the directory will take props directory. And we just need to know if it's open or not. So is open and set is open. Okay. All right. Um, and then we can have like a toggle or inline. So well, I guess we'll just put one here. So I guess we can just like cons toggle open or something. Uh, take an event. Actually, don't need an event. We'll just this will just do nothing, and then it'll go set is open to the opposite. So whatever it was before, just opposite. Right, and then we want to return. You could also do this in line, um, but yeah, I'll just have it here. Okay, so we're gonna return a div. Um, yeah, and then. So, basically, um, here, like this whole thing is just gonna be a button because, like I said, if you, if it's clickable, it should be a button. So, we're gonna have a button here. Yeah, and then on click, we will toggle open. Uh, and then in the button, we want to print the directory name. And then we'll worry about all the styling and all that later. Just have functionality first. All right, so if it's open, then we want to recursively call this guy with the children and then that will handle the children and then we'll just keep recursing. So we'll go is open and um, and we'll make this file explorer guy with data directory dot children. All right, and let's see what we got. And see if we have any errors or anything. Okay, so we have these two buttons. So if we go open, this is good. Okay, now if we I think it's working, right? Yeah, so this button, okay, I think it's all basically working. Uh, yeah, I was, getting, I was a little bit concerned with, uh, depending on what you do, like if you have divs or whatever, um, basically if you have like a button and a button and a button or something, um, that will make it the click propagate up, but I guess we don't really have that. So we have a button and then like stuff under it. So like if this is open, then we'll have more stuff. So I think this is fine. So yeah, I guess we can just honestly take this and put this here if we want to as well, just uh, in line. All right. Mm. All right. So now let's worry. Let's let's focus on one thing at a time, I guess. So the first thing is we want this. We want to see like a level. So this is like level one. Then when you go to level two, it needs to have like a little bit of a tab. And then when you go to level three, you needs to have a little more of a tab. So I think what we can do here is we can actually pass this level down into components. And then based on the level, we can just apply like a margin left, essentially. So like this will be level zero with no margin left. Every level will add like 10 pixels or something. 
So what we can do is we can say like, this is level zero. And just give it a default. And then we wanna give these things a level. So the question is like, where do we wanna give the level? I think we wanna give the level at the topmost component actually. So right up here. So we can go style and we're gonna do this inline because this is like a variable. So padding left. You could also use CSS variables, I guess. Um, and then we wanna have, or margin left, padding left, margin left, either one's fine. Uh, level, and then maybe we'll try like 10 pixels. Okay, Let's see, so now we actually, so this won't do anything yet, because now we have to actually propagate down these levels. So let's think about this. So everything in this initial thing should be on level one. So when should we go to the next level? So I think what we need to do is we need to pass the level down to the directory. And then when we go to the children of the directory, then we want to pass down the next level. So we want to pass down a level here, level. And then when we go to the children of the directory here, we want to just add one. And I think that should, Okay, so yeah, we kind of got it. Um, I guess the next thing, let's, let's fix this up a bit. So for this button, yeah, I guess let's just, we can style the button because it's the only button we have. I guess probably better to give it like an actual class name. You don't want to just like style a component. So we can go like class name directory or something. So a couple things, I guess, here. So we want to go background white. Want to go border none. Um, cursor pointer, I guess. I thought that's had it by default. I guess not. So cursor pointer. Just so like when, so we can see that it's a button. Um, we want to also give it bold text. I think we can actually handle that by giving it bold text in here. So when we show this directory name thing, we can just put this in a bold. So strong, do it like this, or you could give it, um, either one's fine this way or yeah, All right, there we go. Now we wanna have in the direct, we wanna have, so this needs to be a template literal and we need to have a plus if it's closed and a, minus if it's open so we can go it's open if yes let's give it a minus otherwise let's go with a plus all right let's see what we got refresh so for some reason we're getting um thing here so this shouldn't have any additional, um, I guess this div should have no padding and we're getting some problems there. Let's inspect, inspect the page and see where we're getting. So, okay, so this button has some extra padding that it shouldn't. Okay, so let's go give it no padding. So padding at least padding left zero. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think we got it now. Um, let's see, compare this to this. So, oh, right. So this directory name shouldn't say directory name. This should be the actual directory. Okay. So let's fix that. So that needs to be in a thing. All right. Now, Let's compare. Okay, so obviously we can have more spacing, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I think pretty good. I mean, like I said, you can keep styling, but essentially now we, every time we have a new thing, we're adding more and more padding, which is good. And everything on the same level is the same amount. So yeah. Yeah, we can give it like whatever we want, like 10, 15, whatever. But essentially we're getting, I'm seeing that, I feel like this is not the same as that. Let's see, if we go here, 
div. No, this is 30. Oh, I see the problem, actually. So this is 30. Yeah, so this is 15. This is 30, but this actually needs to be 15. So maybe we don't even need a level because inside, like if, if this is at some, as long as we give inner components more. So I think this actually doesn't even need to be basically any level other than the first. Um, yeah, basically any level other than the first, as long as we just give it a padding, um, then, then we're good. And the first level should have nothing. So we can go here. I mean, yeah, you could obviously clean this up. Essentially, yeah, as long as everything other than the first level is, I mean, we could honestly do the first level as well and that'd be fine. So if we just like do this, then everything will be lined up, I think, without these levels. So I think maybe this was like unnecessary. Um, let's see. Okay, so yeah, essentially it starts off more to the right, but don't really care. Okay, so you don't even need it. So because these components are nested, as long as you have your inner component, as long as you have your inner like directory with a with a 15 more, then it's fine. So we don't even need these levels. So this was unnecessary. Overcomplicated. Uh we're using levels somewhere. Here. Alright. Yeah. And then yeah, if you want your initial one to not have any padding, like if you don't want this to have any padding, you can put in a level um, if you want to. Or you could say like topmost, whatever. Just just any kind of prop that will let you know that this is the topmost element. Or like if the ID is one or whatever, but I think this is fine. Yeah, so now if we compare, so this is good. And yeah, so I think it looks good. Um, yeah, you can increase, you can fix padding, you can make the, the text the same size and whatever, whatever. That's just like semantics. Who cares? Mostly focus on functionality. But yeah, the key takeaways here are how to make a recursive component. So figuring out how to do this. I don't know if you could do it all in one component. Actually, you probably could. Yeah, because you could you could take all this directory stuff and put it in. But it's gonna make it kind of not clean. So I think like honestly, maybe even. Um, you can even maybe make a small file component. So instead of like this div file, you can make a small file component and then it'll be easier to read. It'll just be like a small, you know, like div file, whatever. Um, and then that way, if you did want to add functionality to files, you could do that later. So that could be like a small improvement. So basically have a directory for directories, have a file for files, but yeah, kind of rare thing. And I think, yeah, so these problems are going to get harder. They're definitely a lot harder than they used to be. So we're going to definitely do some more like reasonably hard problems. Some will be focused on styling. Some will be focused on, um, just like making stuff work correctly. And in this case, this one was make it work correctly. The dice one and stuff like that was more styling. So yeah, where it's where it's appropriate, I'll discuss some styling stuff, which is not my best thing, but definitely not too bad. And yeah, as far as like the most important thing for if you're doing in like React interviews or whatever, it's just um, making good components and like good props and all that other stuff. Oh, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, now that I'm thinking here also, uh, like we don't need this inline because it's not a variable, so we can call this like container or whatever. So last little addition there. And then, and we, yeah, so we barely have, I mean, obviously you can have more styling, but we barely have any, and we have our functionality. So we can go padding left 15 pixel or margin left 15 pixel, either one. And yeah, it should be good. Okay, so gonna wrap it up for this one. Thanks for watching.